All right, now that I've labeled, made a diagram, <laughs> this is serious business. Okay, so, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then over here, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I think there's four blocks in the middle. All right, so I know that All right. This, okay, this this one lights up. Okay, so we got that. This one lights up this one. I wrote this all down. Um. All right, and then let's use yes. Liliana. And then I got... Oh, crap. How did I do this? Um, all right, I think... I should have I should do this better. This here, right? Okay. Now, then I'm, I'm going to move you. How did I do this? Okay, you are going to move here. So, <laughs> we'll see. Let's go. All right, we're going to move you, right? So then, all right, so now I've got these two lit up. Then I'm going to... All right, so you, Liliana, I'm going to move. Please let this be right. Okay. That one I had, this part I had down. This part I had down, right? So we're going to move you. It's you two that I always get screwed up. All right, Natalia, we're going to move you first because I feel like, all right, so then, all right, how, do, how did I? Gosh, I've got arrows pointed. This is ridiculous. All right, so if I move you, um, oh my gosh. Okay, T to here. Can I move Alistair now? Right? Can I move Alistair? Let's just move right. on. Right. Okay. All right. So now. So now. Oh, okay. So I've moved you and I have moved you. So now I f feel like I can move you. Woo. Okay. So. All right. Now. So this one. This one here opens up. I think it hits up these two blocks. This is what I have here. Like those open up those two blocks. So that one opens up those two blocks. Right? Yes. Okay. So this one is solid, solid, and this one's not. Like I can move. I can move. I can move you. Right. Ooh. Who are you, Liliana? I can move you. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I can move you. Wait. Sugar. I guess it doesn't matter because I could just. Wait. Does it matter? Okay. Is that solid? Is that solid? Okay. That. Can we do it again? No. Absolutely not. Just bring everybody over here. That was annoying as heck. I'm going to have to keep this little diagram. <laughs> this is, I, oh my gosh, that was, a, let me save this just in case. Let me, because I'm not doing that over again. That was, that was unnerving. That was unnerving. Oh, wait, I want to, I want to, don't want to use Alistair. I want to use me. So I got this. By the maker. It's. It's the urn of sacred ashes. That's it. That's really it. Okay. Altar. Very well. This little altar is little more than a dusty stone slab. You can make out an inscription carved in its into its face. Continue. 
Cast off trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of spirit. King and slave, lord and beggar, be born anew in the maker's sight. Cast off the trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of the spirit. Remove equipment. Okay, bow chicka wow wow. So, what if we- You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste, and like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. If you only knew what I went through in that, that puzzle area. Let's go. Oh, you guys took damage there. All right. Um, I leveled up too, by the way. Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay. This is kind of cool, actually. Hmm. I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... I, I, I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here, here she is. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget this feeling. This is kind of cool, actually. These are the earthly remains of Andraste, prophet and pride of the maker. Take a pinch of the ashes. That's updated. You found the Yard of Sacred Ashes. Use it on Arl Amen to heal him. That's a cool... That would be a cool screenshot right there. Um, I want to loot this body. Why is he here? Unfortunate adventure. But you... Ooh, golden demon pendant. That's definitely an Alistair gift. Anything? Oh, yeah. There's stuff over here. Allow me. I could do that for you. I don't know, because... All right. Yeah. Yeah, neither one of us. I guess I'm going to have to leave stuff behind, because... I don't... I can get that one. Oh, okay, so... This is the way out. All right. That was... That was a cool adventure. A very frustrating... To say the least. A lot of death. A lot of destruction. Doubt, definitely. But this was a cool little test of faith, I think, for all of them. Um, and I'm glad that I did not bring Morgan. Because I Morgan is not a religious person. She does not believe in anything that these four would most likely believe in. I, I do believe that Natalia would... Um, she would be devout in some way... Um, probably even more so now than she did when she began. But these three definitely. Alistair may have, may have his misgivings um, because of his experiences with the, the Templars. Um, just mostly probably because of things that he went through with, you know, in his childhood. But I think after this particular journey... Um, this is, this definitely has changed them in some way. So, yeah. It shall be done. Oh. All right. So we need to make our way back through the temple, I guess. I'm back through the temple. I'm back through the temple. Wait. Oh, wait. Are we... Oops. We're back. We are back. That was fun. That was fun. I didn't get to loot everything because my lockpicking is still horrible. Jenna TV. Welcome back. Thank you. you. Gone for quite some time. Well, well, did you find it? Did I find it? Yes, yes, yes. Is that? Oh, there's some dust on. No, that's not dust. 
Omega, I am not worthy to look upon. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? Grueling, definitely grueling. Nothing has touched me quite so deeply. Yeah. You are a very fortunate person. And so am I. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And, and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the Anne. That is not wise. Many will try to exploit this discovery. Yes, I would, I would say so. Um, because we just know how human beings can be. Sure, there will be some that will be that'll come for the right reason. But let's face it, there are going to be some people that are going to come for greed. Granted, they won't be able to get past... They won't be able to get past the Guardian if they don't have the right heart. So maybe, maybe it could be shared. I don't know. I, I just don't think it's wise. But the urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. I agree. Mm. We cannot withhold this from others. It is not our place. You have noble intentions, Brother Genitivi. But can you say the same of your brethren? Exactly, exactly. So everyone comes by and takes some ashes from the urn. Oh, I hope that urn is self-replenishing. I will spread this good news or die trying. If something bad comes of this, it's your fault. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. All right. I will take you up on that offer. Uh, so we didn't get any, like, affinity with anyone on that, so... To each their own. I really... I don't... I have to say I agree completely with Wynn and Alistair. All right, so we're going to go back to Redcliffe. Because we need we need to heal in Arl. But first, first we need to be interrupted by this thing. Abomination. It's a gotcha. <laughs> Oof. All right. Pile of rags. Fell spar ring. A silver band with finely cut. What? Fell spar gem? This gem is rather common, but the setting is crafted with care. What? What is that even for? What is that even for? What is this? Reynolds? It shall be done. Reynolds journal. New codex. Have you seen me? You found Reynolds' body along with the abomination that killed him. Reynolds' journal tells the tale of his last days. Return to the collective for your reward. Okay, so this was a mage collective quest? Gotcha. All right. Gather your party and go to Redcliffe. We must. We shall. All right. Oh. Okay, that was weird. All right, so let's go and take care of the Arl. That was, I think this one is the longest quest. I used to think that the, what quest did we just finish? I feel like this one's the longest quest. I thought the mage one was long, but this one was long. This one was definitely long. Mostly because I'm not good with puzzles. Ah, yes. See you again. You've returned. I have. Might you have new? I do. What is the Earl's condition? I would like to talk about Jowen. I found the urn. That's you have? pertinent. Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Let's do it. It's about time, right? I mean, he looks healthy. So, uh, minus the eyes.
So what do they do? They just did they eat, give him get did he eat it? What where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isold? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Mm -hmm. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Okay. Well, now that he is healed... This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the bite. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. All right. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. Thank you. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Um, thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. Um... What are you proposing, then? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. Loghain must capitulate, then. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes. But our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. No, I think this is a good idea. Um, I see we proceed with your plan. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed... I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Got a loved one. A-L-E-X-A. What you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. 
I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Hmm. He does seem earnest in his desire. I do think that he is being repentive. Even. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. And that is your prerogative for sure. Give him to the Circle of Magi. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. I don't... Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. New quests. Gather the army. Hero of Redcliffe. Use the Grey Warden treaties to gain the help of different factions. So Arl Eamon has been revived and plans to call a landsmeet in Denerim. In the meantime, you must gather your allies using the signed Grey Warden treaties. Okay, so now we have the support of um, of Redcliffe. So from what I gather, we've got two more. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do now is I think we should head back to our campsite and okay, they're preparing for battle. But what I wanted to discuss, I think maybe just before we get to camp, because who knows if we get interrupted as I enter camp, but I did, I do like the fact that Arl Eamon was understood that we cannot fight this battle on two, we cannot fight two battles at once. We don't have, we don't have the manpower or the armies to um, maintain a two-front battle, which means fighting one another in a civil war and then fighting, turning around and fighting the blight as well. Um, so the way that we destroy politics is with politics, um, and this landsmeet is supposedly going to be a way to do that by revealing Alistair as the rightful king, heir to the throne. And hopefully everyone will accept that. And then we gather the armies together and destroy the dark spawn. So. And it's my job to, I need to, Flemeth's hut. I still need to go and get Flemeth. I think we'll definitely do that next. Um, so we've got the Priscillian outskirts. Frostback Mountains. I feel like I want to go here next. But let's go to the camp. Okay, nobody wanted to talk to us. Let's talk to Augie. Oh, why you little Augie? Did you just jump at the side of your own shadow again? Are you harassing my dog? Me? Harassing your dog? Yes. I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Hmm. Just a warning, he could have taken a hand off. And don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. And he's a good puppy. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, Augie. All right, don't listen to Alistair. He's full of rubbish. Hey. He is. Anymore? Uh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. It was, oh, he wags his a tail. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. It's a thought that counts. He means well. Can't be stinkier than what normally. Oh gosh, come on. 
Um, I think he thinks you need more meat on your bones. He means well. The dirty mongol can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. You heard the lady. It was a gift. You can't just throw it away like that. It was. I just did. Oh. I don't want it, you worthless fur <gasps> Oh, you hurt his feelings. Morgan. You did. You hurt his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative. I can tell. I do it too. Fair enough. All right. Let's talk to Alistair. Sure, why not? Here, look at this. Do you know what this is? Is that a trick question? Your new weapon of choice. Yes, that's right. Watch as I thrash our enemies with the mighty power of floral arrangements. Feel my thorns, dark spawn. Ah, I will overpower you with my rosy scent. <sighs> or, you know, it could just be a rose. I know that's pretty dull in comparison. A rose by any other name. Um, sentiment can be a pretty potent weapon. Is it that easy to see right through me? Yeah. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. A darkspawn would come, and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. Um... What do you intend to do with it? I thought that I might... give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. Oh. Thank you, Alistair. That is a lovely thought. I'm glad you like it. I was just thinking, here I am doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. I thought maybe I could say something. Mm. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. I feel the same way about you. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. Sounds good. Off of the armor then. <laughs> Bluff called. Damn, she saw right through me. Exactly. You're cute when you're bashful. I'll be... <laughs> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops. Just to be uh, safe. You know how it is. Absolutely. Yay. Approval six with Alistair. All right, Zevran, you next, buddy. Here I am. Um, can you answer any questions? Oh, this should be good. Uh, Go ahead. Is there anything... Tell me a little about Antiva. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do yeah. you? Sure. The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. Hmm. Don't you want to go back? <sighs> it's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? Hmm. As one in Highover, in the north. Oh, I have never seen that place. I am sure it has its charms and its dogs. <laughs> hmm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine, and its dark-haired beauties, and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. Now that is odd. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in <gasps> oh, a building yeah. where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. 
To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. You sound like you've been away from home forever. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Mm. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? Hmm. Let's see. Your home is still there, Severin. True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful Grey Warden? A woman who then spares my life? I could not. You're flattering me. I say you are beautiful because it is true. Should I not? No, by all means. And glad I am to hear it. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Alright, plus four with Zevran. I do have something for Zevran, actually. Uh, other, maybe? Is that under? Um, if, oh yes, here we go. Liliana, Augie, Stem, Zevran. Here we go. Mm, that smell. This is Antiven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. You're quite welcome. What are you waiting for? Put them on. But I'm not finished admiring them yet. Can you smell that? <sighs> like a rotting flesh. Just like back in Antiva City. Now, if only you could find me a prostitute or two. Oh. A bowl of fish chowder and a corrupt politician. I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> the crow feet as well. Marvelous. Mm, the corrupt politician reminds me of home too. All right, so Zevran got a 17 plus 17 approval. Um, let's go ahead and let's give some other gifts away. We might as well give rid of some of this stuff. Um, small silver ring. I think where was the. Uh, so I don't know who this I think is Alistair. Where are we at with Alistair? We're almost full approval with Alistair. Let's give him that. Is that for me? Really? Yeah. Wow. This too. I'm... Wow. This too. Yeah? Oh, thank you. Oh. That's very nice. Maybe not. Oh, I thought I thought, okay. Zevran, I believe gets the Bars. I shall treasure it. Yes. Thank you. And then this too. You have excellent taste. Oh, why? Thank you. All right, Stan. What do you like? Um. Stan. Stan. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Let's give Augie the bone. Um, a locket? D yeah, oh, carved statuette. Is that Alistair? Is that for me? Really? Wow. Okay. I'm. What? New ability inspired major constitution, minor dexterity. All right. Let's talk to Stin, see what he's up to. Yes. I don't think he likes us. Still don't think he likes us, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the conversation. I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that very Yeah, that's enough for now. I suggest we move on. Yeah, he doesn't like me. I have a question? I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to Ferelden? To answer a question. What was the question? The Arishok asked what is the blight? By his curiosity, I am now here. Okay, what is an Arashok? The one who commands the Antam, the body of the Kunari. Is his name Arashok? So he's your king. Kunari have no kings. What do you have then? Little patience for endless questions. Okay. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, did you find the answer to his question? A portion of it. What was the answer? Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. Don't you have to report back then? Yes. So... What are you still doing here then? I cannot go home. Why not? It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. What were you quoting earlier? The Kyun. The path to wisdom. I am not surprised you don't recognize it. What is the Kyun exactly? Ask a Tamasran. They know how to explain things to children. It is not oh. for me to teach the Kyun. Okay, let's go then. As you wish. Yeah, new ability inspired minor strength. Well, he does like us a little bit. He's getting up there. Slowly but surely. He still doesn't like us. So now we've got Lieutenant Kadrum. On your order, Grey Warden. Do you need anything? Uh, the Arl was generous, but rushed. Certain areas could see improvement. We're a mercenary force, Warden. Much of our equipment is self-financed. Were you to commit additional funds, we'd upgrade as we saw the need. Okay, so let's see. So they want coins. All right. Okay. So, like I said, I don't know if this actually does anything. Um, it would be interesting to find out for sure. Let's talk to Liliana. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. You are a traveling minstrel. Do you have tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Okay. Hmm. There was another story I wanted to hear. Do you know any Pharrells and legends? I know one. Told to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chill me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? Hmm. Yes. Flemeth. Uh, Morgan's mother was called Flemeth. Ah, uh, are you sure? Yes. Was she the Flemeth of legend? Flemeth, the devour of men. Flemeth, mother of witches. Flemeth, demon touched, who dwells in the mists. Um, she didn't really introduce herself as such. Ferelden mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her forever. They also say that Flemeth mourns her lost beauty and will steal yours through your looking glass if she catches you. Tell me the whole story. Flemeth's beauty was known throughout the land. She had hair like unto a moonless night, skin as pale as winter's first snow, and eyes as beautiful and perilous as the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of High Ever, Conobar and he took her for his wife. Conobar soon learned that his young bride had the gift of magic. He kept this a secret, for he feared that she would be taken from him. Flemeth stayed with Conobar for some years, and with his blessing, she practiced her art. And then one day, a young poet named Osen came to the castle. Flemeth was captivated by Osen's voice, and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. What happened then? Flemeth longed to be with her true love, and she and Osen fled from Conobar's lands, seeking refuge in the Kokari wilds with the Chasen tribes. They lived there happily for many a year, till the day Flemeth received news that Conobar was dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. But when Flemeth and Osen entered High Ever, they were captured by Conobar's men, and Osen was slain in front of Flemeth's eyes. Flemeth was imprisoned in the highest tower of the castle, there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted revenge against her husband. She summoned a fey demon, intending for it to wreak vengeance on Conobar. 
But a spell went awry. The demon possessed Flemeth. Turning her into an abomination, the halls of the castle run red with blood as Flemeth slaughtered Conobar and all his men. The last of Flemeth's humanity melted away, and at dawn, she stole back to the wilds to plot and scheme for a hundred years. They say she took to her side many chastened men, and with their help, begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari wilds. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't want to prolong this too long, so let's just move on. Interesting. Um, well, oh, wait, where's, oh, I was going to say, where's, where's when? You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? Uh. Oh, I don't. Yes, quite, I guess. I've noticed your blossoming relationship, and I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. Alistair is a fine lad, skilled in battle, but quite inexperienced when it comes to affairs of the heart. I would hate to see him get hurt. So do you think that she would? I, 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 the fact, the, 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 use your vowels. The fact that she would assume that Natalia was way more experienced i would say natalia wasn't um we're just taking it one day at a time what about me not worried about me getting hurt i am worried about you both oh. there is great potential for tragedy here love is ultimately selfish it demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else a gray warden cannot afford to be selfish you may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? <sighs> oh, gosh. I don't want to have to make that choice. Nothing is certain. Not in these times. You cannot take anything for granted. I want you to be aware of this. I'll consider what you've said. I am just trying to minimize the suffering that may come to either of you. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. I feel like she's meddling a little bit, but I guess I get it. It just, she implied that I was, that my character was way more experienced than he. So, I don't know. Anyways, um, let's head out. I think that's enough chit chat for now. Um, we're gonna grab. Uh, yes. When? Because we need the healer. Gonna grab yes. Alistair. Do I want to grab Sten? Yeah, let's grab Sten. Yes. Can I mix it up? I really don't. Where are we gonna go? Where are we going next? Let's go to Frostback Mountains. Should we go to Frostback Mountains or? You know what? Let's go to Soldier's Pass. Oh, great. Here we go. Always going to get stopped on the road, of course. Hello. Old Tegrin? You have coin, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. What's going on, Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Okay, let's see what you got. Right. Um, Silver Sword of Mercy. Sure, why not? Painting of Rebel Queen. Okay. You know what? Stin doesn't have any... Uh, ornate leather belt, one strength. I guess that'll have to do. Mm, okay. Mm. Ooh, tome of skill and sundry, a sprawling work of early girl and attempts to unify. Okay, this tomes if you read one point to spend. Who's who? Do I give it to? Is there any? You don't have any potions. All right. Well. Thank you very much. Let me go ahead and give, get Sten 
um, a little TLC here because he, well, yeah, he's got, oh, okay, I just bought the same thing. Well, shoot. He doesn't even have a helm. I'm in trouble. Let me get him leveled up really quick. Give him a little constitution, a little strength, more constitution. Um, does he need dexterity? I feel like, yeah. Um, willpower, maybe. Yeah, willpower. Oh, I want to, I want to pad his strength. Um... Do I want to give him poisons? I feel like poisons would give him a little. Let's give him some poisons. Let's open up tactics. Um, I just want to be able him to be able to use poisons, not necessarily make them. Stunning blows, yes. Sunder armor, yes. Two-handed strength, yes. What else we got up here? Bravery taunt let's give him bravery all right hello ox and ox which way do we go gather a party and venture forth all right oh okay i shall do it hello oh, hold on before we talk, it shall be done. I think that's it. Let's talk to you. Hello. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now, what do I do? Are you asking me to find your mule? Oh, no, no, no. I sent the elf to do that. I wouldn't dream of asking a stranger to do it. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Mm hmm. I'm Natalia. Pleased to meet you. I don't <clears> normally <throat> take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you'd consider helping a fellow out? Mm. Help a fellow out? How? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Mm-hmm. What's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I, uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch? is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Mm-hmm. Mm, how do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... Troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence the low, low price. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you say? Uh, yeah, maybe I could use it. How much do you want for it? Nothing. I just what? don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. But you're just going to give it to me? Okay, yeah. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. In a land called Honleith? Off the magic dragon? Live by the sea? No? Okay. And if it doesn't... Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. New quest. The golem in Hanaleith. 
You have acquired a control rod from a merchant. According to his tale, the rod will activate a golem in the remote village of Hanalith in the southwest of Ferelden. You should journey there to see if his story rings true. Yes, we shall. All right, let's go. Let's check out uh, Hanalith, Soldier's Pass, or... Oh, it's Han... Okay, this is... This is where we're going. I'm probably going to get stopped again. What? We didn't get stopped? Area unlocked. Village of Hanalith. It's extra bright out here, isn't it? Also, I think Alice... What the... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. What is that noise? Ooh. Okay. Uh, let me look at Alistair really quick. Mmm. I can't open anything up yet. I guess I can give him poison making too. Might as well, so he can use poisons. Yes, um, friend. which me. Oh, we're friends now. We friends. All right, let me give you some mage bane on your and death root. That way you can throw them us. You two, stun you two. Give you some some poisons because you both can now use poisons, which I think might be useful. You know. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Apparently, this has been overrun by Darkspawn. You guys sound horrid. Oh, jeez. Where's Alistair? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh. Jeez, how many of. we got can we go on any of these can't go on any of these houses acid flask the chest up there ice arrows nobody can use arrows in this group right now anything else just up here uh, nope it shall be done this is chef's chef's oh olaf's chest olaf okay olaf Need a key to get that. It's kind of cute little village. It's a little torn down. Uh, must be the dark spawn. They. Oh gosh, it's a ton of dark spawn. Holy moly! <laughs> Jeez. Okay. No, 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 you don't you dare. Oh, gosh. Get him. We're going to this guy first. You don't stand a chance. Not a chance.
Broken chest. Large clear crystal lightning. Oh, he didn't give. Oh, it. I'll take the gold though. Heck yeah. More than generous. Very well. Any of you got Olaf's key? Note. It's a note here. New codex. A note from Hanaleith Village Council. Mistress Matilda, the council has unanimously agreed to put you in charge of decorations for Hanaleith's upcoming ha Harvest Festival. We all adored what you did with the village for the winter solstice. As usual, the statue must be adorned with items that capture the essence of the season. Iris kindly offered the use of her white brim straw hat with the berries and daisies and would love to see it on the statue. Farmer Goodman would also donate some of his baby pumpkins. We think a garland of small pumpkins and ribbons draped around the statue's shoulders would be lovely. Whatever you decide will be splendid, I'm sure, and we all look forward to it. Councilman Murray. Where are you, Councilman Murray? Where is everybody? Basket of bird seed. Very well. Basket of bird seed. Villager. Oh, well, I guess they're all dead. Bloodied bronze key. Okay. I shall do it. This basket is almost empty. Most of the bird seed seems to have been scattered about to blah blah blah. blah. Alright. Can't read that fast. Okay, there is a door I can go into, but let's finish looting. Another chest. Maybe chain mail. Okay. Maybe we must have looted those already. Right. Very well. Wilhelm's what? Village? Lair? Area unlocked. Wilhelm something. Lair? I didn't I didn't see that. St strange crystal cluster. As you say. Okay. Wilhelm, you live creepily. Creepily. Dark spawn. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Sten, what are you what are you doing? Get this guy. Is this on? It's not. That's why. It is begun. Yeah, you guys are generous with all the the the, the money. So all this time we've spent together, you know, the tragedy, the brushes with death, the constant battles with the whole blight looming over us. Will you miss it once it's over? Uh, I didn't mean to click on you, but sure, let's talk. Um, miss the constant battles or miss you? I know it might sound strange, considering we haven't known each other for very long, but I've come to care for you. That's cute. That's... A great deal. Mm -hmm. I think maybe it's because... We've gone through so much together. I, I don't know. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe I'm fooling myself. Am I? Fooling myself? Or do you think you might ever feel the same way about me? This is not the great place to be talking about this, but... I think I already do. So I fooled you, did I? <laughs> oh. Internet. That that wasn't too soon, was it? Mm -mm. No, no, no. Good. I'll take that as a good sign. Make us breath, but you're beautiful. I am a lucky man. Now, <clears throat> let's get back to what we were up to 
before, lest I forget why we're here. New ability, massive constitution. Well, that uh, that was unexpected. So that probably should have happened back at camp, but it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's perfect. Charred corpse. So we've got some some more dead villages. That is nasty for some reason. I don't know why that gives me the creeps. It's begun. But it does. It just does. Okay. This is a weird house. What? Yeah, just villagers dead left and right. Wilhelm special brew. Oh, is this like his brewery or something? Is that what it is? Oh, it's right here. Wilhelm cellar. Oh, jeez. Are we gonna find Wilhelm? Where's, okay. We got more of you guys. Bring it. Oh, jeez. Bring it down here. Down here. Okay, that didn't, that didn't do diddly squat. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're trying to get in. Oh, no, 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 no. Get your butt over here. <clears throat> How dare. Not today, buddy. Not today. We see you. Just gonna loot real quick. Real quick. Take this. I shall do it. I shall. Grab this. More stuff and things. Linlock. I shall do it. Wasn't there something up here? I thought. Oh, here. A decades old letter. Hmm. Madam, I can assure you that the Circle of Magi is not a sacrilegious institution, and that, indeed, we operate under the supervision of the Chantry. It would make our investigation of your husband's death much easier if you would simply cooperate with us. I am disappointed to hear that you sold the Golem's activation rod. I understand both it and your husband were of invaluable aid to King Merrick during the war against Raleigh. Without, without the rod, we cannot discern whether the Wilhelm's Golem was responsible for his murder. The golem will simply have to remain where it is unless the villagers can find a means to destroy it. Our condolences to you and your son for your loss. I imagine it is of little con consolation to you, but your husband is much admired here and will be missed. Make her keep you, First Enchanter Arlen. So this is... Oh, look! Interesting. There's a painting again. Skull is that? It's creepy. Okay. Hello there. By the maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us. Mm. I doubt anyone thought you were alive. <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. I was looking for whoever owned that statue outside. The statue outside? Why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? I you did. came here looking for shale. So you're a mage. You're a Maleficar. I'm a Lificar, but you are definitely not in the circle. That's cool. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance. Um, so you're saying the golem is defective? How should I know? It must be. My father was its master, and it still killed him. Surely that's not normal behavior. My father's name was Wilhelm. 
mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlé. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Why are you so angry? Um, well, obviously, your dad was killed, so... Um... Hmm. I'm curious about this place. Actually, where are we? This was my father's laboratory, beneath his tower. Or it was, anyhow. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful. But my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Mm-hmm. I'll see if I can find her. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. Okay. Why didn't you try? I... Um... Magic... Constitution... Willpower... Um... Staff focus? Passive? Sure. Alright. 